So now we're going to tour the city and we're starting with the gardens, the Jardin de la Fontaine. These are beautiful gardens that date back to the 18th century and they're among the very first public gardens in the history of France. So we'll have a look at them now. This elegant Roman ruin is known as the Temple of Diana, even if today we think it probably was a library. So this is the spring, this is the cradle of the city. The first inhabitants settled here because there's a lot of water. It later became a very large Roman town with many monuments. We'll be seeing the Tour Magne, which is at the top of the hill. And in the 18th century, they rediscovered the rain, remains of a Roman sanctuary, and they decided to design a, this beautiful garden, which is very popular for visitors and also for the inhabitants of Nîmes. So here we've got the Roman tower, the Tour Magne, which is a, an extraordinary monument. It's a lookout tower. And today you can actually climb up to the top and there's a, an extraordinary panoramic view over the city. And this is the Roman amphitheater. We're so lucky and we're really very proud because it's the best preserved of all Roman amphitheaters. The whole height is still standing. It's 1900 years old. And in Roman times, it was used for gladiator fights, obviously. But um, today we also use it for shows. It's a, it's a place you can visit. And uh, there are regularly shows that are held inside the amphitheater. And now we have a very modern building, which is known as Carré d'Art, and that's a contemporary art museum come library, which was designed by Norman Foster, he's a British architect, in 1993. And here we're on the terrace restaurant of the top of Carré d'Art, the contemporary art museum, with a lovely view over our next uh, stop, which is going to be the Maison Carré, this beautiful Roman temple. From here you can see it in its setting and you have this lovely view over the rooftops of our beautiful old town. This really seems like a rather exotic creature but actually it is part of the coat of arms of the city of Nîmes and um, on the same square you actually have a crocodile and palm tree and this dates back to a ancient times to Roman times, a coin that was minted here uh, 2,000 years ago. The old town of Nîmes is small, but as we know, small is beautiful. These last 30 years, there's been a lot of restoration work which has been undertaken. It's become a pedestrian zone. So it's lovely to do your shopping in a relaxed manner and to enjoy the sidewalk cafes, for example. And if you want to go off the beaten track, then you can discover another part of Nîmes where street artists perform each year in September during the festival which is known as L'Expo du Ouf. And if you hire a guide of Nîmes, you will even be able to visit these uh, townhouses which are fascinating because this one, for example, here dates back to the 17th century. So you'll get a glimpse of the interior of these houses and with this absolutely beautiful atmosphere. So this is the heart of Nîmes. We're 
in France, food is so important. And this is known as Leal, it's the covered market. And you can find anything you like, from cheese to meat to vegetables, wine. And of course it's summer right now, so you have melon, you have tomato, you have all these wonderful local products that you can enjoy. Another local produce is the olive, which is grown either as a table olive or pressed for oil. The area south of Nîmes is known as the Costière, and that's where our very nice wines of the appellation Costière de Nîmes are grown. You can find all three colors, and these lovely fruity wines are to be enjoyed. Here we are in Saint-Gilles. This is just a, a short half hour away from Nîmes. You can even get here by bus. And this is a masterpiece of uh, Romanesque architecture. It dates back to the 12th century with all this beautiful carving uh, that are the remains of a major abbey that existed here in the Middle Ages. If you want to go hiking or biking, there is a whole diversity of landscapes around Nîmes to discover, with many natural and historic treasures, such as the Gorge du Gardon, or the local scrubland, which is known as Garrigue, dotted with its fascinating capitelle. And those are dry stone huts.